My opening sequence contains conventional and unconventional aspects that are also found in real media products, such as other social realism films like The Perks of Being a Wallflower or Fish Tank. My media product continually contrasts or adheres to conventions of the genre. The soundtrack throughout my opening sequence is used for emphasis on the atmosphere to develop the emotions and distress of the characters. This is a convention that is commonly found in social realism films to gradually build the emotional attachment to the characters so that the audience can sympathise and feel a sense of empathy. The minimal use of dialogue between characters is used to emphasise the voiceover and the soundtrack, which allows for the storyline to be introduced and developed. This is also seen in To Kill a Mockingbird, where during the opening sequence there is little dialogue and the soundtrack starts immediately in order to raise enigma codes, as the audience has little idea of the situation. However, in Fish Tank, there is more dialogue within the opening sequence, in order for her personality to be portrayed clearly, which is key to the film. The sound effects I have used within my opening sequence are meant to create an intense and dramatic atmosphere for the audience. For example, in the car crash scene, I developed my techniques in layering sound, and used it to my advantage with the black screen so that my target audience, which would consist of intellectually engaging people, would use their imagination to recreate the event. This is unlike the perks being a wallflower, where the crash occurs throughout flashbacks very suddenly, with film footage that is advanced, which I would be unable to recreate at this stage. Another convention of my opening sequence is the presentation of the titles. Frequently found in social realism films, such as Fish Tank and the perks being a wallflower, the titles are presented straight away, before the film starts. They are also central in the frame, with a white font on a black background. I decided that mine would consist of a simple fade in, fade out, as this was favoured by my target audience, as I found once I conducted my focus group. The simplistic font of my intertitles reflects the nature of the film and is majorly influenced by other social realism films, such as Fish Tank. The title of my film, If Only, was decided purely by my target audience of female teenagers who would fit into the E demographic. There were multiple suggestions, however If Only was everyone's favourite. Once I had experimented with different styles of font, I went back to my target audience and conducted a further survey. The lowercase font was decided as the preference, as it was simplistic, which then again is another convention found in the perks being a wallflower. The lead character was introduced in conventional and unconventional ways. Lola, the main character, was introduced through a voiceover, which lasted for the whole opening sequence. This is found in other opening sequences, such as the perks being a wallflower, where the main character, Charlie, is reading a letter he wrote describing his situation, which is what Lola does by describing her thoughts. This gets the audience to relate to her and builds further enigma codes. However, Lola and her sister were also introduced through flashbacks, which are generally unconventional in the first two minutes of a film. By using the flashbacks in the first two minutes, it sets out Lola's position straight away, so the audience would want to know what provoked these events. The target audience praised the flashbacks, especially the use of saturated effects, when I conducted research through questionnaires and in the focus group. However, a different form of flashbacks were also Shiny used in My Sister's Keeper, where the main character talks about her childhood changed. and how everything has changed but since. The, the locations of the scenes were set in an average gloomy working class area, with graffiti covered walls. The setting worked effectively as the lighting and bad weather created a successful atmosphere, which matches the pace and the emotions of the storyline. This is similar to the perks being a wallflower, where the location of the opening sequence is set in a gloomy and dark setting. When the present day shots are shown, Lola is wearing a dark coloured costume to represent her mood. This is an unconventional feature of my opening sequence, as generally the characters stick to normal average outfits that are commonly associated with their social class to make them blend in. For example, in Fish Tank, the main character wears a tracksuit, which is commonly found in working class areas. Therefore, she immediately blends in with that social group. This also causes the audience to stereotype her appearance and link her with certain characteristics, such as aggression. Previously in the storyboarding process, I planned the camera angles and movements, which I would create in my opening sequence. They vary a lot and some are more conventional than others, such as the tracking shots, which can also be seen in the perks being a wallflower when the camera follows Charlie around the house. However, there are also unconventional shots, such as the cowboy shot of the sister's hand clenching to show anger and frustration, which is used to build suspense among the audience.